punch or the knockout punch is probably the most common attack and probably the most dangerous attack that you'll ever face in the streetwise situation. It's not so much the hook punch which is the problem, it's what happens after you've been hit. If you go to the floor and you hit your head on the ground, that's when things may go really bad. So it's very important that we learn how to defend the hook punch. Now there are a few different ways to defend the hook punch. I'm going to show you a couple, but then I'm going to show you what I think is the best one. So one of the options to defending the hook punch would be to use a duck. Especially if you've got some boxing experience, you'll be able to do that relatively simple. The other option that you may look at doing is the outer block, very commonly taught in most martial arts. From here, once I've stopped the, per the opponent, I can use my closest weapon to my closest target. Elbow strike, knee strike, and I can bring him down if I need to. My favourite option, which is a relatively new concept, is called the triangular defence. And how that works, it works like a shield. So if I start in my fence position, I basically place my hand on top of my head and I squeeze. From here, my other hand grabs the wrist. As you can see, I make a triangle and I can see through the gap of my arms as to where the punch is coming. And when the punch comes, I turn towards the punch to meet it. So, I make my arms like steel to protect my head from the punch. So as I start in my fence position, I'm ready for that punch. So as it comes in, I place my hand on my forehead and I squeeze my wrist. So as he comes in, I meet it. Now, one of the things that I do to my students is I teach them to aim for the triangle as the target. It's actually going to be a strike at the same time and it might pause them, won't stop them, but it will pause them maybe for a second to allow you to do what you want to do next. Okay? So, as he comes in once again, bam, I come in here to stop. Now the problem is, I don't want to finish here. I need to finish off in a different way. So from here, I duck under, keeping very close to my opponent, and I come in with a bear hug with an underhook underneath. And as you can see from here, I place my ear on his back. If I don't, he can elbow me. So from here, placing my ear on, my back, on his back protects me a lot easier. From here, I can negotiate with him, and if necessary, I can release him. However, if this doesn't work, I can take it to the next level. So once again, as he comes in for that strike, I stop, duck underneath, come in for the bear hug with my ear on his back, and then from here, I can do what I like to call a reverse side kick. So I lift my leg up, and I push it into the back of his knee, and I pull him down as well to take him down. Okay? And then from there, I can go to my safety position. So now we'll do that one just a little bit quicker, so you can see it in a real life type of situation. So there you go, that's the triangular defense. So what I recommend you to do from here is to practice it either on your own or with a partner. Even if you practice it on your own, you can practice from here and just using your imagination, pretending the punch is coming in and stopping there from there. You can practice it on both sides, back to there, there. Now, it doesn't matter whether you accidentally go to this side or to that side. The most important thing is that you act. Don't change your mind halfway. If you happen to get it wrong, just go with it and see if you can fix it up from there.